This is my shot list. Seems kind of cheesy, but we've got roughly 11 scenes. Some of them will be VO, some of them will be moving. But this is this is the this is the ticket right here. I spent a couple hours on this and just having this for today's shoot is going to be huge. So, in about 2 hours, we're going to be heading to somewhat of like a corporate shoot. Uh, it's for a health benefits company and we're gonna be shooting a quick 60 to 30 second ad. You guys are probably wondering, yeah, what are we gonna be filming this with? Well, our A cam is actually gonna be the Lumex S52X, which is what I'm currently filming with slash vlogging with. Okay, we have a couple of moving shots that are on the script. Actually, the video is going to start with our talent actually walking. I wanted to kind of make it a little bit enthusiastic. So having a walking, talking shot's gonna be good. I think he's gonna either be getting out of his car and entering a building, but to pull that off, we'll be using the Lumix S52X and we're using the new Zyun. Is this the three? I don't even know what it is, but it's got a good payload. That's why I bought it. I needed an update from my old one. And so far from what I can tell, I've, I, it just handles the payload that I need. Well, it's that time again to start thinking about your insurance benefits. As a valued Detweiler's employee, you have access to some wonderful insurance benefits, which makes up a big part of your overall compensation. Fortunately, I wasn't able to kind of record that whole behind the scenes process of the walk and talks. But once we were done with those, I kind of broke down the cameras off of the gimbal and then started assembling the Lumix S52X more for just being on the sticks, being on the tripod and going through our shot list from there. Now, as mentioned, some of these shots were direct to cam. Open enrollment's the time of year where you can review the coverage you have in place. It's also the time of year you can make any changes you feel necessary to your coverage. Open enrollment's the time of year where you can review the coverage you have in place. It's also the time of year you can make any changes you feel necessary to your coverage. And then a handful of them were VOs as well. Now to accomplish the VO, one thing that I like to do with a lot of talent and with scripts right off the get go when I show up before we even kind of assemble or set up for our first shot, a lot of times like what I like to do is take the talent, just get them in the comfortable environment and be like, hey, I'm gonna record this audio but video wise, we're not really going to be recording. And I like to do a couple of script reads. And so we ended up actually doing three with Eric. And this comes in handy for several reasons. It's going to give you an opportunity to let the talent kind of work out some kinks. A lot of times people don't do a lot of practicing beforehand and also day of with cameras, with lights, it gets a little bit more intimidating. So having them just putting them in an environment where they can just read it right off the paper into the microphone is a good way to get them kind of warmed up or loosened up and then added bonus it gives you a chance to have a couple of clean reads just in case the performances to camera don't actually come out how you planned as an incentive this year detweilers is giving 25 dollars to anyone who can self-enroll in chronos that's right 25 dollars just to go into chronos and make your elections on your own all righty whatever one second. This looks good though. Honestly, it looks like you're in a com it looks like you're in a completely different space. I'm I'm glad you recommended this. Let's, let's take the hat out or leave the hat. What? what? I think so too. Yeah, they're on a roll. I right love now. Dude, this this company, yeah, that makes these hats. I love their hats, but they're freaking giant. They don't fit. Yeah. Old school vibes. Okay, whenever you're ready. Most of you have Chronos downloaded on your phone. All you have to do is log in once open enrollment begins, make your elections, and you get $25. Yeah, ideally I'll show their HR team on screen and then the next I'll have some kind of like branding of their point. So we don't even see for those two lines. The Detweilers HR team is always available to support you and answer any of your benefits questions. And they'll be getting around to the stores in early November in case you have a question that you'd prefer to ask in person. Final line, two camera, and then we're done. More information will be coming to you soon about your insurance benefits for 2024. So keep a lookout for that. So the point of this particular video is to give a few little insights in regards to how to make a project like this profitable and also easy on yourself. But one thing that I used to neglect in the past and I've started to do now that I'm just a one man operation is I do try to do somewhat of a shot list. And I kind of walked you guys through a little bit of how I did spend some time on the phone with the client discussing what I had envisioned in regards to they sent the script. And then I spent about a day kind of 
you know, penciling out the shot list and the whole visual that I was trying to portray. So on that phone call, I was able to kind of go through my shot list, tell them what I was thinking. And that way, when I showed up to our actual shoot day, which side note, I did not know what the facility looked like. Uh, this was the first time I had actually been at their office. But once again, being able to lean on that shot list is just absolutely huge because I just knew, okay, first shot is going to be getting out of the car, walking in the building. Didn't matter what the building was, that was going to be the shot. Then, of course, we knew the second shot was going to be entering the building, kind of making their way to the office. Now, I didn't know which kind of how I was going to make my way to the office, but I knew that that was going to be a shot that was had. And you guys saw how that was kind of pulled off. But now I will say with a lot of the shots, I'd actually shoot the scene, go to my laptop, and then I would kind of put it in the timeline. And actually, I just did the whole shot list in that timeline throughout the day. And I pretty much had the ad done when I was done shooting. I didn't tell the client that, but in the back of my head, I was just looking at it and I knew, okay, I need to find music. I need to find a couple of the text and how we're going to do the visuals. But as far as all the shooting, it was done on site and ready to go for the timeline. So as a one man band operation, I would say from beginning to end, this took maybe two days. I would say it was profitable because of the amount of time that was spent on it. It wasn't that much. Uh, there was a little bit of pre-planning and yeah, I would say if I had to have brought someone else into the operation, I still could have made a little bit of money, but it's one of those things where I want you guys to realize projects like these, this are totally doable and totally doable at a budget that I think are reasonable for a lot of your clients. This is how I'm currently able to pick up clients. It's I'm making money, but I'm making the budgets very reasonable for anyone that wants to enter into video. And what I find is it just really works uh, to kind of, ease people into this whole video world so little videos like what you just saw some of the kind of recap videos i do for bands and things of that nature these are all little outlets you can kind of start looking into i'm not saying that you're going to get rich doing it but i do think that but with time and with building that portfolio and getting quicker and more efficient with these types of videos there can be money to be made but hey guys, it's Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like the content that I'm currently creating, which is more of kind of like behind the scenes, real life experiences, drop a comment in the comment section below. Maybe you don't even like this kind of content. That's cool. That's cool too. I want to know why. But as always, I want to say thank you and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. But I have to say, I think my next video, it's not going to be so much a tutorial or a behind the scenes. I want to be talking about my Lumix S52X. I want to talk about, oh man, sorry for keeping you hanging, but we had a casualty in the Lumix family and it has to do with my Lumix S5. Uh, it sometimes turns on now, but I'm going to have to call Panasonic or I'm going to call a camera company. There might be a chance we can fix it, but uh, RIP S5 for the current uh, time being. We'll, we'll do a moment of silence. All right, S5. You will be missed, but hopefully we can bring you back to life. All right, I'll see you all in the next video.